hi everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel i am precious and uh, in this continuation of our studies on calculations using logarithms we want to look at uh, how to do the roots and powers of numbers using logarithms okay so we have some examples here we are asked to evaluate the following using log tables so for number one we have 19.18 raised to the power of three so you recall that in the case of indices, because all of these are coming from indices, we have that if I have x raised to the power of a or raised to the power of b, what happens is that when you open up that bracket, a will multiply b. Okay, so that's exactly what logarithm is going to replicate. So if it is raised to a particular power, by the time you find the log, that means 10 raised to the power of whatever you get as the log. That particular thing you get as the log will be multiplied by the power. And then whatever you now get, you now get the anti-log of it. And that gives you the value of what you are asked to find. And if it is root, you will divide it just as square root under indices. Or root changes to fractional power, which is actually division of the power. Okay, so... Let's begin. So for the example one, I've already uh, done. Of course, you know, you just get the log of the main number, which is 19.18. And so to do that, you get the characteristics, which is one for example two or example three. I am leaving two and five as exercises. And then for example three, you also get the logarithm of the number inside and then divide by two since uh, square root means power half okay cube root means power one over three that means if you finish this one you divide by three if it is uh, fifth root like in example five you divide by five so whatever the root is you divide by that okay so now um i started by bringing out the characteristics of all these are four digits all of them are whole numbers so you have that the characteristics is three in this case the characteristics is two because you have three digits as the whole part okay so now let's begin with this first example so we are now looking for 19 under one difference eight okay so this is 19 under one difference eight is somewhere here 18 okay so when we add 18 to this we get the 2828 Okay, so from here we have 2, 8, 2, 8 as the mantissa. Okay, so what do you do next? Like I said, we will multiply by 3 since it's raised to the power of 3. And when you multiply this by 3, so we are going to look for the, uh, the anti-log of what we have here now. And what is the anti-log? We are looking for anti-log of 84 under it difference difference four okay so let's do that anti-log of 84 under it is this and then difference uh, four will be six so when we add it to this we have seven zero five three so we have seven zero then five three and because the characteristics is three so we add one to it which is four so by the time we count one two three four our decimal point is here therefore approximately our 19.18 to the power of three is equal to seven thousand and fifty three approximately and that's the solution for that so for example three here we already have the characteristics as three and so we are just looking for the mantissa which is 26 under two difference one so four one eight five now because it is root we we'll divide by the root and the root is just square root which is two so we'll divide by two and then we have uh, 1.7092 so we are looking for the anti-log of this which is 70 under nine difference two Okay, so we get, uh, we got 5, 1, and 1, 9. Okay, so, and our uh, characteristics here is 1, so we add 1 to it, which is 2, 
our decimal point is here. Therefore, the root of 2621 or the square root is equal to 51.19. Okay, so that's the solution to this. Uh, meanwhile, you can actually also decide to, you, you know, when we divided this 5 by 2, we got 2 remainder 1. You can actually add 0 to that 1, divide it, and you'll get 5 here. Then you now approximate to three, uh, four decimal places, which will give you three. And uh, instead of having nine zero, sorry, seven zero nine two, you have seven zero nine five, and then sorry nine three. And then when you now get the anti log, it will give you fifty one point two zero approximately. Now either of the ways, you are still okay. So let's go to this other example here. Okay, so we are asked to find the cube root of 927.8 the characteristics is 2 is here already so we are looking for 92 under 7 difference 8 so we'll get 9675 okay and then since it is cube root we will divide by 3 so let's try to divide okay so if we divide by 3 we will get this of course, 3 divided 2 is 0. It can't go. You carry 2 over here. 3 divided 29 is 9 remainder 2. That's 26. 3 divided 26, you have 8 remainder 2. 27, that's 9. 3 divided 5, it will give you 1 remainder 2. And when you add 0 to that 2 and divide by 3, that's 20 over 3, which will give you uh, uh, 6. And 6 is more than 5 if you approximate it you will get these two that we have here. And then we now <clears throat> look for the anti-log of uh, this other number. That's 98 under 9 difference 2. Okay, so we have 9, 7, 5, 4. Okay, however, the characteristic is 1. Sorry, 0. If you add 1 to it, you get 1. So that will give us 9 point that. Therefore... Okay, the cube root of this is approximately 9.754, approximately. And that is our solution for this. Okay, and for this video, this is all I have for you. Recall that we just looked at uh, uh, the how to find the powers and roots of numbers using the logarithm table. All right, and then do well to do for example 2. An example five and let us have your solution in the comment section below and uh, we'll see you in our next video bye